of a Sony HDR uh, dash FX one E. Uh, the problem with it is that um, it's dead. There's no life whatsoever from it. I have a battery for it, if I can find it. Um, it's a 7.4 volt battery. Let me have a look. Uh, no, 7.2 volt battery, and I have about 7.6 volts on it. And put it in there, nothing happens. You know, I'm here a beep or something, you hear the lens moving back and forth, but um, I'm getting nothing at the moment. Uh, I'm gonna have to strip this down. Uh, first thing that's got to come off is this handle. Uh, there will be two screws in here. Take that off, you take that cover off, and there'll be uh, screws for the handle, and then there'll be cables and stuff in there. And I would imagine you would have to take off this. Uh, you got two screws here. That into the camera shot. One here, and you the, the far side. Um, I would imagine that will remove the handle. Um, I will do that, and then I will get back to you. Here's a, a view from the service manual that I got uh, for disassembly of this unit. Um, you can clearly see this cover here at the rear end. Um, that comes off, there's two screws that hold it in place. And uh, then you have access to this cable here at the back. Just carefully unclip that. Then go around here to the front. And you have this cover here that's at the front. And there's one screw on the right hand side as you're looking through the lens. That comes out. It's a long screw. It's the only long screw that you'll see of its uh, kind on the, the whole uh, camera. You won't see another one like it. So don't lose it. When that comes out, you get access to this cable here. When you have them two cables uh, out, you can safely remove the four retaining screws. Two here at the rear and two at the front. Okay, next step on it is you have to next step you have to get off uh, the covers and uh, pick your side. I uh, can't remember which side I took off, but anyway, let's start with this side, the right hand side. You take that, you'll see all the screws going around. These are they're not hidden, you can see them. And uh, when it does come off, you have this cable. Don't pull it too hard. You're gonna, you might tear this cable here. And the, these flexible cables are fairly, fairly expensive, fairly expensive from Sony. The next section. So over here, then we have on the other side, we got this and you got to open this door to get access to this hidden screw here at this point. And then, of course, you have this flexible cable here, another expensive uh, part if you tear it. I know I said that I was going to take out the uh, uh, power supply housing, battery housing, uh, but you can't get that out until you get this cassette. The next step is getting out this cassette. Uh, it's simple enough. There's four screws, you'll see, four silver screws. You just undo the, undo the four screws and then you have these cables. Just unclip these cables that you will see coming out the back of this. And uh, like all cables, these flexible cables, be careful. And um, put that aside. With this housing out of the way, you have access to the two uh, power connectors from the battery and the AC adapter. You'll be able to plug them out from this side. Yeah. Let's see what else we got. We didn't go down here to this section here to anything like that or that. Uh, taking them apart. Let's see if something else. We didn't disassemble the... Okay. Okay. So here we are here, we got a look at the uh, the camera here. This section here on the right hand side is now got to go, you got to do all these cables to get this PCB out. 
and uh, there's connectors at the top. And uh, really then you're left with something like this, as you've seen. Uh, you then can get access to the uh, the actual power. It doesn't show you how to get that far into it on this manual. But once you get all that stuff out, you have access to them two power PCBs. And uh, it will be on the far side of this. Right, we have this off, as I showed in the previous uh, clip, uh, how to get off, as you can see, here's our rear clip, and here's the front clip that's hidden as well. Uh, now we've got to get these uh, covers off, and there's, uh, there's screws that were hidden underneath that handle to get the uh, actual side covers off. And then we have to get them off from the side here, and the bottom of the actual unit. Then we should be able to get the uh, take them apart. Now there will be cables holding this side on and um, I will double check this side as it, there would be a cable I was, would imagine for this um, switch for the on off and camera select. Have the sides off and there is a hidden screw uh, on this side here uh, right inside the cassette housing here the door will be closed so you have to open it up and uh, you'll see it there on the right hand corner uh, we will have a cable on this side so don't pull it out too quick and um, this cable here it would go into this board here and plus we have on this side here we have a shorter cable for the zoom i would imagine it's for the zoom here and that would go into let me just see what's into this top one here as far as i remember okay now my next uh job is i'm going to have to remove this top housing here see can i get in at the power supply i could also try and uh remove the, uh, the actual cassette there is a way of doing that if you bear with me if you were having problems uh with uh not being able to eject the tape and you want to get it out for the customer um there is a little service hatch here you can see this uh, little plate undo that screw and you have access to this and what you can't see on that cam uh, my the footage i'm giving you is this inside that you'll see terminals like this and what you have to do is get a power supply it shows you 4.5 volts and you put your uh, positive on the outside one here and the negative on this and that will unload uh, the tape yes it will unload the tape and uh, eject it now if it's fully loaded around the heads you're going to have a loop of tape coming out so it's going to be slight damage to the tape uh, if it's fully unloaded, you're in luck. See where we are. They're actually in here. I stripped down the camera down to the power supply section here. This here is the uh, housing that holds the battery you put in. You can see the two terminals down there at the bottom. You can just barely see them. And uh, they go into this power supply here. And in this you see various load of um, um, inductors, book converters, uh, whatever you want to call them, step down from, uh, uh, supplies. And uh, I have to really check this out now i can't really power this up and check it because it's all stripped down and these will not work um, as such i think i've seen on the service manual that when you plug it in first you might get about 10 seconds of supplies now what supplies i don't know there's literally about 20 something different supplies some are for camcorder section some are for the playback se section and it's not even clear about that what what voltage should be present and what which shouldn't be because there's no information with the uh, the service manual um 
that on the light the way it used to be um, used to get some information what kind of uh, voltages were present in different modes on it say a vcr you would know what that each pin if it that value changed when you selected a uh, vcr or camera oh, right or sorry vcr or uh, playback or record i should say now what i'm going to do with this is i'm going to uh, I have four screws taken out of it. There's four silver little screws uh, that held this board apart, and it's just held in with a clip. Now I'm going to pull it apart, and I'm going to look at all the any fuses I see um, on it. Um, I got some a load of fuses here. I see line of them, and I think we have a line of them here under this one here as well. I'm going to check all those first. Okay, let's get the microscope out. Unfortunately, that's as far as I can go out with the zoom on it. Okay, let's see. And let's see, can we focus that a little bit? And there you are, clearly marked as fuses. They are capacitors uh, at the other end. Okay. Okay, that's okay. 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 And that one is okay. Should have another one here. All right. That's all the fuses I can see in this. Let's get to your board. Have a look at that. One is okay. Hmm. Not getting any beep with that one though, am I? Okay. On to the next one. And there's okay. And see is there any short across this little cap here? Okay. Let's go into resistance. Okay, we've got some kind of a residual voltage at that particular point. We're looking like we're... Is that a little bit burn up I see at the side of it? Or is that just... Let's just zoom in, see can I go in a little bit closer on this and have a look. It'd be nice if that's all it is. But uh, I'm kind of sceptical. It sure looks like something happened here. You're going to turn up the brightness a little bit for you. Yeah. It's looking like just about there, there's something out there happening. Or is that where someone was measuring? It could be just in measuring there, someone had a probe on it at some time. I could see another one on here as well. Hmm. Another one there. It's like someone would put, hmm, even though this, this is kind of bulging up. He's got the mark of the probe all right, but they're not bulging up. Okay, I'm going to remove that. And I'm going to have to look at the service manual and see what uh, voltage that is now. It starts at 14 right in the front of it, 14. Okay, right, let's find out what that is. F105. F105. Let's see, can you see what I'm seeing? Let's get you on it. Okay. F105. Okay. 
Well, five. Okay, it's not giving me any idea um, what uh, rating is that. It just says F105. And they're all the same rating by the looks of it. Uh, looking like there's nothing there that will tell me what it is. How am I going to figure out what uh, amperage this draws? Yeah, it does look like that uh, did suffer a bit looking at it there very closely. Let's just go back in. Uh, the service manual, as you see, is not going to be any help to us. And that's an official Sony service manual. It just shows you um, they do not give you the information you used to get uh, from uh, uh from the manufacturer as we used to it does look like it got a bit of stress on the middle as well there's something going on there in the middle as well as that kind of turning up but it's hard to tell i'm going to have to take this out and uh, figure out a way of of uh i might just have to guess put something in there uh, and hope that it is the uh, right value i don't know how i'm going to do it let's see can we start putting some uh, solder on that and removing it i don't want to really use hot air on it uh for the fact that uh, it's right close to them caps i just want to get a uh, it should be easy enough to remove I shouldn't say things like that because that's when it goes horribly wrong. I just zoom up a little bit, it's just too hard. Yeah. Got to make sure it's still in your view. Doesn't want to move, does it? Mm. It's glue as well, holding it down. Okay, I'm going to have to get the hot air going out. And let's keep an eye out. Uh, we don't want to get on that chip right beside us. There is a chip. Try again. I think there must be glue or something holding these on. So Okay. 
I'm afraid of getting that chip too hot or it's okay at the bottom, there's nothing at the bottom, so we're okay there. Yep, ready to go on. That's like it's nearly welded to it. But that could happen if it got too hot. There's the other side of it. Okay. We're doing well. Heat it up again with the hot air gun because my iron is not able to cope with the uh, Okay, that's clean enough. Don't need to clean all the solder up because that can be reused to put the new component on when I find out what it is. I'm going to stop the recording now because I'm going to have to do a lot of research into this. Um, it's too risky. Uh, just put a wire link in there just to see will it work. Um, or to put too high a rate of uh, fuse or low, too low one which will mean it'll blow anyway. Um, I'm going to do a bit of research. I received a packet of 20 of the uh, these fuses. Uh, they're not the exact Sony um, part. Uh, I got a 1.5 amp. Uh, it's close as I could get to it. And I couldn't get um, a 2 millimeter by 1 mil millimeter type fuse. Um, I can just show you the one I got. A little bit larger, uh, but it will do. I can scrape off a bit of the material here. Get down the bare copper and well, there's plenty of room. And I've noticed here for I took this out, this one here doesn't look the best. It's looking the worst for wear. Uh, let me just give that a check. Uh, okay, it's shown as open circuit. Uh, Okay, and it's crumbled up. Okay, right. They're very delicate, these are. Okay, the other two look okay. I'm going to remove them too. Sorry, I'm going to remove that um, uh, other fuse and I'm going to replace with two of them fuses. Okay, what I did was to remove them was I just flooded them with solder and I used a bigger uh, solder and iron and that removed them no problem uh, the miniature solder iron had wasn't it wasn't up to task uh, this here was a lot better uh, I'm going to replace all four of them uh, because I don't like the fact that uh, 
don't like the fact that they uh, that another one went to open circuit because they were they, there was only one of them gone. Uh, maybe the heat from the uh, hot air station caused it to go. I don't know. They're very fragile anyway. So I'm going to replace these um, with uh, four of the new ones I got, and I'll get I'll show you the the result when I'm finished. I try to make these fit as good as I can um, without doing any damage to the rest of the board and uh, enlarge the pads to be able to uh, take these uh, larger type uh, 1.5 amp fuses. Uh, that's as good as I'm going to get. Um, I'll probably give it a little bit more of a clean up of flux. There's a slight bit more flux on it, but uh, can't get that this. Uh, let's see, can I get the clear off for you? Yeah, it's as good as I'm going to get. Um, I don't want to keep heating this board. Uh, I can do more damage than good. I have to accept it's in there. Uh, I've checked the continuity there. Uh, I do have continuity. The fuses are intact and I don't have any shorts. Um, all right, I'm going to start putting this back together again. This is the PCB I replaced the uh, uh, fuses on and I'm going to start putting it back in again. Uh, these two connectors here, you would want to really make sure that these are secure and straight, not going in crooked or anything like that because you're never going to see them when we get them back in the housing. This area here actually comes against them two connectors to stop them popping out Um don't know if you're going to be able to see it or not but uh, these are bolted down they come right against the uh, I don't know if you can get it in there or not it's very hard to see but I think that's as good of a shot as I'm going to give you. A um, couple of screws to hold this in place. I don't know if I'm going to go through the full rebuild process of this. Uh, but the, certainly this here seems to be the most awkward part of it. Put these on. Yes. That board in. And this will here come up here as well. We'll have to get another board onto that after. Uh, now we've got this board here. This has a, a connector here. That actually goes into that connector there. There you go. Now, four screws. You still in the shot? Yes, I am. Four screws in. Yeah. Next thing we have to do is we got two connectors here. You can get that to focus. And they got to connect into these two here. Uh, what I do with these then um, is uh, is just put to one side and do it like this. And it's no problem. You can put them in. My biggest problem is going to be getting the cable into here into this connector here which this comes from the actual ccd unit um, the, the image pickup uh section of the camera and that is going to be a problem i haven't worked a way out yet of doing that i'm possibly gonna have to try a few different ways of getting it in but for now um, let's just put this in and make sure it's nice and square Okay, and likewise, when that PCB is is uh, screwed down, 
the back end of these connectors will come against this uh, piece of metal here and it will stop them popping out. Well, that's the theory in here. Okay. I'm just going to put one screw in this for now just to hold it together until I figure out a way of getting that other uh, uh, connector in. I'll pause the video until I get set up. Here's we got here's where we got to get this connector onto this connector here. Um I'm gonna try this with first um by not putting it in fully I might be able to get my hands underneath and uh and try and get it in. If it takes too long I'm going to pause the video because it is a bit of a difficult one. So far I'm not able to get it and um, there's just not enough length in the cable Um I'm going to um, pause the video and I will ex when I get it in I'll explain how I did it um, if I get it done. How I finally got this in after about 10 minutes of struggling is I just uh, bolted the board onto the uh, chassis with a couple of screws they're just loose there at the moment and uh, I got it at this angle here and I could just about see, I can see the connector here and I could move and my finger then I went up here from the far side and I maneuvered it here into in this in the place now when we do get that in there is this retainer's got to go in uh, this little bracket here this goes against the back of that cable stop it coming out now will that be easy to get in i don't know this is where i'm going to have to take the uh one of the screws out to see will i get enough room to put it in okay that might might be enough <laughs> I think it's another case of I'll get back to you when I finally get it in. Looks like it's at an angle, so it can't be in the right. Let's get it on the wrong side of it. Let's see if we can Okay, that looks central, and it's a black colored screw that goes in here to hold that in place. And let's start putting in all these um, screws. This could be a long video. Yeah. Have I dropped any cables? Um, we've got all our cables here. We've got two cables there. We've got this. Um, and let's have a look and see what we have the far side. We're not, I'll see another screw. Uh, there are two screws actually. You don't want any of these loose because that cable would pop out if it was loose okay right so the next thing we got to do then is get this battery housed then uh, we know it goes in from this side 
and it has to go in before the tape deck. Um, by the way, take the tape deck off first before you try to take off the PCBs. Uh, it would just be easier. Oops. Just fell out. Okay. You know, it goes like that somehow. But does it? Okay, I got to figure this out now. Uh, this just popped out. I'll pause the video. I'm going to figure it out and show you. Well, that's the final location there. It slots in here underneath these and it's got to go in there. There's a little peg on the top of that. There, I just pulled this off. Two of them. They got to go into. And then it's in place. Let's hope it don't pop out again. Okay. Battery housing on. Just double check, make sure no cables clamped. Yeah, that looks like it's clamped there. Sure it does. But it's clamped. I don't think it's caught behind our board. Let's have a look. Ah, no. Push out. There you go. It's out. Yeah. That's the connector for the DVI jack port, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Try again. You're going to be out with shot for a minute. That bracket is after coming off again. Okay. Okay. Have back in place. I can't get the hammer. Sorry. I can't get the camera high enough for you to be able to see this. Uh, right, try that again. Just please don't want to stay. Okay, I'll stick a little screw in that for my board in place. Stop it coming out. Maybe I should have thought of that first. Okay, that should hold in place. Stop it falling out. Uh, so let's see, can we put get give you a, a, a view of it this time? Maybe I should cut all that last disaster out. But no, I'll keep it there. People like to see other people struggle. OK. 
Okay. And let me see. I'll just before I this down. Yeah. I like to check all around and make sure everything is lining up. I know it's one thing isn't lining up. Um it's this this bracket here. This bracket here, the whole is not central. So is that a problem? Is there something caught? Everything else looks quite flat. Where it should be. Oh. Yeah. Quite lined up now. Hmm. Magic. Let's get a couple of black screws in it now, just hold that in place. I'm going to continue now connecting up these cables. Okay. I don't know if you're getting this or not. Slash. Over here. Looks in fair it will go. Tab over. Get one there. Okay, so where do we stand now? One here, is this one for here? It is. In. that's it that's it that's it all right i'm going to pause the record now and see what next i've got to connect up and um, and see where we'll go from there okay uh, that didn't go as planned it's not working so i'm going to have to dig a lot deeper into this uh, strip it all back down again and uh, see can i come up with some way of testing it uh, i don't know um it's not looking good uh, the customer it's himself doesn't want to replace boards and uh, these are just too difficult to work on and um, you, you might be able to just do what i did there see a fuse gone but obviously there's more to it than just a fuse there's probably um out right i'm slowing on it now um maybe should, i should try and come up with some way of checking this um 
injecting some voltage and see if there's any of the uh does that get hot um maybe that's my next bet um because i can't do much live checks on these uh it looks like i got a bit of success i found that um the connector here on this board there's a large connector that goes onto this board that went up here around this side onto this main board here and do you remember when i was trying to maneuver that other cable in below uh, i think it popped out when i was doing that so i do see signs of light now uh, uh let me see can i show you i'm going to go to the camera i don't know if you're getting it there you can hear the noise the lens going i can see this light here lighting up so we have light uh, life so i'm going to put all together now and uh, see what i have and what i haven't got my cassette deck in uh battery all set up at the back here all the screws in just that little test port there's got to be covered over i can confirm i have a picture of my camera and uh, my uh, cassette uh, takes in the tape so right i'm going to button it up now and do a test on it we're going to conclude this video it's been long enough uh, it's a big old job to take apart so what i'm going to do is i'm just showing you that we do have a bit of life uh it is motion just to prove the point um we have our screen we're in vcr mode uh we'll press play and there we go um not the best of picture quality on whoever took that uh, video it was at some kind of uh performance but you wouldn't have good liking in, uh, in anyway so right let's have a look at our camera section so everything is okay there everything's put back together again um nice looking piece of equipment uh tape decks now are basically getting uh obsolete and uh, mostly they're going to be uh solid state devices now um this here is going to be used as a second camera for someone out there uh, if they have problems uh with their uh main cameras they can this is a backup one just to be able to complete the footage okay um i've missed out a few bits on it uh i wasn't recording i uh, didn't catch it and it's very hard to show everything with your hands in the way um very hard to test voltages and do anything like that on these uh and if that and i feel i have to add in it i will uh go through the manual there and narrate over it if you made it this far uh, it means you, it was an interesting video if you didn't um well i better make it more interesting the next time uh, thanks for watching anyway